Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Igor and today I'll demonstrate a major security pitfall lurking in one of my favorite tools for AI image generation, Comfy UI. For those unfamiliar, Comfy UI is both a front-end and back-end for stable diffusion and other image generation AI models. It's a powerhouse beloved by power users like me because of its incredible flexibility and modular design. Whether you're creating intricate artworks or dynamic videos, Comfy UI has you covered. But there's a dangerous security flaw baked right into its design, one that, if you're not careful, could turn your computer into a hacker's playground. Let me explain why Comfy UI's greatest strength is also its Achilles heel. So here's the deal. One of the coolest things about Comfy UI is the ability to download workflows from places like Civit AI. Workflows are pre-built node setups. These workflows often require custom nodes to function, which all sounds awesome, right? Well, here's the problem. Every single custom node is written in Python. That means when you run a workflow containing these nodes, you're essentially executing arbitrary Python code on your computer. Think about that for a second. Python is insanely powerful, but it's also a double-edged sword. By blindly running these workflows, you're allowing complete unrestricted access to your computer. You're letting a Trojan horse enter the gates of Troy. A malicious actor could embed harmful code into a custom node and you'd have no visibility into what's happening under the hood. The damage potential here is enormous. Let me show you just how dangerous this can be. I've created two custom nodes to illustrate the types of exploits a hacker could deploy. These nodes are purely for demonstration purposes and I've blurred the critical code because I don't want any script kiddies out there replicating this. Here we have the default Comfy UI workflow that generates an image of a universe in a bottle and I'm going to add my homemade custom node right here. As you can see, this node actually does something. It controls the image brightness. But that veneer of usefulness is just a decoy. Every time I render this workflow, my custom node creates this file right here on my desktop. Simple, right? But here's the thing. If it can write files, it can also read them, modify them, or even delete them off your drive. Imagine the chaos if a malware-infected node started tampering with sensitive documents or configurations on your drive. Now, let's up the ante for the second demo. I will replace this custom node with my second demo node. This node can control the brightness just like the first one, but it will also do something even more sinister. This custom node pulls critical information from my computer and sends it over the internet to an off-site server. And here's the kicker. That server is not even here. It's running all the way in New York while I'm sitting here in California. Here on the left is the remote server, just patiently sitting and listening for my custom node. If we look at the hacked node's code, you can see that this node will look for any files that have passwords or license in their file names. I will render the image now. The data transfer happens seamlessly. So it looks like it found and sent over my neat video plugin license file. By the way, this is not like in the movies when you see the text trickling in on the hacker's screen. This is fast. You'd never know it was happening right under your feet. This is the kind of exploit that could steal unencrypted passwords, personal files, browsing history, you name it. Your firewall is helpless here because the hack uses port 80, which is the standard web traffic port that's open on any computer. Alright, now that I've thoroughly scared you, let's talk about solutions. Only ever run Comfy UI in a Docker container. By isolating Comfy UI in a container, you can ensure it only has access to what's inside the container. Even if a malicious node tries to be naughty, the damage will be limited to that container. Docker containers are low value items for you and for the hacker. They're like lightweight throwaway virtual machines, but this is all a subject for another tutorial. Comfy UI is an incredible tool and I can't overstate how much I love using it. 
but with great power comes great responsibility. Run it safe, run it in a container, stay vigilant about the workflows you download, and don't let its flexibility turn into your vulnerability. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more AI and DaVinci Resolve deep dives like this. Until next time, stay safe and keep creating.